Have you ever wondered why I stopped narrating the book? The truth is, the task was more challenging than I initially thought. You see, my naturally rich, smoky voice, while great for late-night jazz radio, requires careful handling when it comes to book narration. It's a skill and frankly I was a novice. Imagine this. Each time I read the words, they painted a picture in my mind. A vivid, colorful picture that I found breathtaking. But then, I realized a fundamental truth. The image I was creating was mine, not yours. I was inadvertently robbing you of the chance to let your imagination roam free, to craft your own unique understanding of the story. This realization led me to a new approach. Instead of voicing the words as I saw them, I decided to read them from a viewer's perspective. This way, you, the listener, get to paint your own picture, to see the story through your own eyes. Nobody else should influence your perception after all the beauty of reading is the freedom it gives your imagination. Now I know you might be wondering why is he doing all this, the truth is, I don't do it for money, there's no monetization here, I do it for you, I want to share the joy, the thrill of a good story, and I want to hear your thoughts about it. So, if you appreciate this journey we're on, show some love. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and please, share your thoughts in the comments. How do you prefer to listen to a book? What format works best for you? I'm all ears. Remember it's you and me in this together exploring the vast landscapes of literature, one book at a time. As always, wishing you peace and good vibes. Until next time.